In this video, we are going over five quick ways to get started right away in real estate investing. If you are new to real estate investing, whether it's wholesaling or you're trying to rack up some rentals or become the bank, creative financing, it can be very overwhelming uh, when you're just getting started and it can be difficult to know like how to actually get started. If you've read any books or you've listened to any podcasts, you're probably overwhelmed by the 100 million different ways that you can make money in real estate and sometimes you just need to know like what do I need to do right now like how do I just jump in and get started so in this video we are covering five ways for you to get started start taking action start getting deals and start making money right away as fast as possible as you can uh, in real estate investing. If we've not met before, my name is Jason Baca. I'm a real estate investor in Pennsylvania. I just started real estate investing about a year ago. By God's grace, been able to meet a lot of really cool people. Um, I still have a day job. I still have a family, four kids. I've been doing this kind of on and off on the side, but by God's grace, already made tens of thousands of dollars doing this. In fact, I netted $32,000 on my very first deal that I did which was pretty cool, praise God, um, and and that was net profit. So if I'm looking back at like the last year that I've had and I'm thinking to myself, okay, if I were to, to start all over again today, what's the first thing I would do? What are the top five things that I would do to get started right away? And you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video to see number five, because literally nothing happens until you do number five. Like literally, and no, it's not taking action. Uh, literally, you cannot be successful in any form of real estate investing if you don't get good at number five and start doing it right away. Uh, that was something I had to learn in the very beginning. So uh, if you are not already subscribed, this YouTube channel is for you, my friend. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm just showing you everything that I'm doing, all the deals that I'm doing so that you can get financially free too, so that you can do it too. Um, my name is Jason. I'm just a regular guy, you know, living a regular life, trying to build financial freedom for my family on the side. So if you want that same thing, then just click the subscribe button and join us here. And before we jump into the top five things, I want to get you started in real estate investing to get your phone blowing up, get your inbox blowing up with leads through free lead generation. If you need your first deal or your next deal in the next 30 days, I put together what's called the REI Jumpstart Guide. It's literally just a PDF with seven things that you can start doing today to start getting your phone ringing with leads and get your inbox blowing up. Uh, these are all free methods. It's how I got started. It's what I'm still doing in my business today. And one of those seven things on the PDF that you'll see is actually what led to my very first deal, which got uh, uh, netted a little over $32,000. And I got the lead for free within the first 30 days of me actually like trying to do it. So if you need a jumpstart in your real estate investing, uh, just go to reijumpstart.com or click the link below the video. All right, here we go. Uh, top five things, five quick ways to jump into real estate. Now, when we jump into these five things, I, I have to qualify what I mean by quick, okay? I, I, I wanna be your brother. I wanna be your friend. I, I wanna tell you the truth. You know, the Bible says, better the wound of a friend than the kiss of an enemy, than the flattery of an enemy. Better that you have a true friend that's just gonna tell it to you like it is than to have somebody who hates you say all sorts of nice things about you and flatter you, right? So I wanna be your friend, I wanna just tell you the truth. When I say quick, I don't mean that you're gonna make a million dollars tomorrow, okay? When I say quick, I mean the least amount of time wasted because I've wasted a lot of times in a lot of time in my real estate endeavors and, and trying to do real estate. I've wasted a lot of time learning all the wrong things that I didn't need to know in order to get started and not learning all the things that I really should have known. So when I say five quick ways, I don't mean you're gonna be a mega multimillionaire tomorrow. What I mean is to compress the timeline from where you are now to where you wanna be in the shortest amount of time possible that's what I mean by quick. So if you're interested in compressing time and getting from where you are now to the to where you wanna be in real estate in the shortest time possible, and you just need to get started, these are the five things that you should do uh, right away. Okay, so number one, as much as I did not want to hear this when this advice was given to me, the reality is the biggest, most important thing that you can do right now today to get started in real estate is investing in yourself. Now, I realize that this can sound a little bit cliche. Uh, lots of people say this, like you need to invest in yourself, invest into yourself. Let me tell you a little story. So 
the first deal I ever did, like I said, netted a little over thirty-two thousand dollars. I actually bought the house for five hundred bucks. It's a it's a crazy cool story. Um, I was uh, I'm following Jerry Norton. Jerry Norton is a big YouTuber on and the wholesale fix and flip, amazing guy. Uh, I was in the comments. And uh, it kind of came up naturally. I wasn't just like bragging, but it came up naturally. I said something about like, yeah, it took me took me a while to get into real estate too, but I did a little over thirty two thousand dollars on my very first deal. Well, Jerry responded to that and said, "Hey, I'd love to talk to you about your deal." Long story short, um, I had the privilege of being interviewed on his YouTube channel uh, about the deal, and we broke down the deal and all of that. It's on Jerry Norton's YouTube channel. So at the end of the video. I asked Jerry because he's like the man, you know, I said, hey, give me some advice. Like, I'm still kind of new into this. I just did my first deal. I finally got some cash. I got an infusion of cash. What should I do? And you know what he said? Invest in yourself. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, now take that money and put it in a 401k and do this with it. And here's all the th you know, the strategies that you need to know. This is what you need to do. This is who you need to hook up with, etc. Instead, he said, take that money and invest in yourself. Meaning, go to conferences, uh, read more books, uh, listen to more podcasts, use the money to um, join a coaching program, to join a paid for community, something like that, to, to get really good at the skills that you need to get really good at real estate investing. And uh, I was a bit taken aback by it because I, you know, I was hoping he'd say, direct mail, you know, like that's the thing is direct mail and instead he's much wiser than that and his advice was like all of the marketing and all of the strategies and all of the you know the legal tax uh, shelters and all that kinds of stuff all of that will come but the most important thing is that you get really good at doing this because that's the thing that's going to give you the staying power. That's the thing that's going to make you good at this and have have some success in this overall. So as cliche as it sounds, it's actually honestly true that the best, fastest, quickest way, one of the five anyway, for you to get involved into real estate investing is to invest in yourself. What does that mean? That means read books, listen to podcasts, attend conferences, attend webinars, um, go to uh, what are called RIAs, like local real estate meetups, uh, get connected with other people, either, either real estate agents, other investors, etc. Like really start to invest in yourself in your own education and the development of your skills, getting really good at all of the skills that are necessary in order to for you to be good at real estate investing, whatever form of investing it is that you're most interested in, right? Like find Find like wherever that is, the books, the podcast, the people, the community, the whatever, and dive into that and invest in yourself and learn those skills, get that knowledge and get the understanding, get that experience, invest in yourself. Number one, fastest way, uh, and don't just take it from me, take it from our, our main man, Jerry Norton, invest in yourself if you're just starting off. Number two, work with someone else, work with someone else. One of the quickest, fastest ways that you can get in, involved into real estate investing is to work with somebody who's already doing it. Work with somebody who's already doing it. Now, you've probably realized by now that uh, when you're getting into it, it's hard doing it by yourself. Uh, trust me, I know. I got into this whole thing pretty much by myself. And I mean, if I'm just being really, really honest, I'm still kind of just doing it by myself. I don't have a lot of partners. I don't have any virtual assistants yet. That's my next goal is to make enough money that I can hire a virtual assistant. But it can be hard. Like you have to push the whole thing yourself all the time. You have to do all of the things, right? From the marketing to the answering the phone calls, the the negotiations, going on appointments, talking to sellers, you know, talking to agents, the paperwork, back and forth, the funding, how are we gonna close this deal, blah, 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 blah. You have to like literally do every single thing along the continuum of the things needed to get the deal done uh, all by yourself. And it can be hard and it can be overwhelming and you might give it a good boom, a good go for a while, for a few weeks, for a few months maybe, but eventually it gets really hard sometimes to maintain that stamina, uh, especially if you start feeling discouraged that things aren't working out the way that you want them to. And a really solid antidote to that overwhelm and it, discouragement and feeling isolated and lonely is to work with somebody who's already doing what it is that you want to do. 
So if you want to be a wholesaler, you want to wholesale properties, you want to wholesale business, find somebody who's already doing it, either virtually, if that's what you want to do, virtual wholesaling, or in your local area, and like work with them, like work for them, get a job for them. I actually was at, I met a lady uh, at a real estate meetup, uh, Mastermind, where she had already done a couple deals by herself, but she had voluntarily taken a job as an acquisitions person on someone else's much bigger team of for real estate investing, simply because she just didn't want to do it by herself anymore, and it just felt like a really heavy load, a heavy burden to try to carry her own business all by herself. So she, even though she was making money, and even though she was doing pretty good, considering it was just kind of like a side gig, she actually intentionally started working with someone else in order to learn faster, kind of have her hands on more deals, get connected with more people, and kind of see the bigger overarching process and structure that of someone else's business so that she could start to recreate that in her own business. So working with somebody else who's already doing what you're doing is a great way to kind of like tap into their pipeline, tap into their expertise, like be mentored by them. You can usually be coached by them. You're going to learn a whole bunch in the process and you're going to get pretty good pretty quickly at the things that you need to get good at, the skills that you need to develop in order to be really good at real estate investing. It's kind of like uh, in the Tour de France, uh, they, they, they do this in race car driving too. It's called uh, drafting. Yes, that's what it's called. I was about to say drifting, but that's like when you're like skinning around, uh, scooting around a corner. Drafting. The idea is like the person who's in the front of the race, they're taking the brunt of all the wind, right? The the air that's pushing against the bicyclist or against the car. So it, what you can do is you can move right behind like on the bumper of the other car or on the back tire of the other bicyclist and it's you don't have as much wind resistance because you're kind of like you're in a little pocket, an air pocket or a lack of air pocket that they're kind of carving the air for you, like they're paving the way and it gets a lot easier for you to pedal right behind them and keep pace with them because you don't have to pedal as hard as they are because they're the ones kind of pioneering and pushing the air out of the way. It's called drafting. I, I'm talking like I know this stuff. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a bicyclist or a race car driver. But that's that's the idea. That's the mental picture of working with someone else is that you can kind of like tap into their stream, right? You can draft right behind them. You don't have to pedal as hard to keep up with what they're doing because you're kind of riding in their vein, you're riding in their flow, and you can accelerate, like exponentially accelerate your learning curve, uh, your relationship building with other people who are in the business around you. It's just, it's a really, really great way to get started right away in real estate investing is to find somebody who's already doing what you're doing and then start working with them. Number three on the list, this is a big one. It's It goes overlooked and uh, it's a bit underrated because it doesn't necessarily jump out at you right away as like something you should do right away to get involved in real estate investing but it's vitally important i can I, I can testify of my own experience my own success my little little bitty tiny success i've had so far uh, has been due in large part to this one thing which is joining a community joining a community. If you want to get started in real estate, one of the best pieces of advice that you can get is join a community. Like step one, join a community. Or you know, step one, invest in yourself. And a big part of that can be joining a community. Uh, again, this kind of goes back to the to the point number two, which is like the loneliness factor, the isolation factor, um, the having to do everything by yourself factor. When you join a community of people who are learning alongside of you, who are also trying to put deals together and do deals, who also have the same questions you have, who are struggling with the same things that you're struggling with, who are fighting with the same things that you're fighting with, um, it, what it, it just creates this community, this camaraderie where you don't feel so isolated, you don't feel so alone, you don't feel like you're all by yourself, you feel encouraged like from an emotional kind of morale standpoint, but then also you get the benefit of learning from other people's mistakes and what other people's questions and deals that they're doing. They break down their deal and you go, huh, I never thought about that. Like there's a huge learning curve that can come just by kind of being in the room with the right people. So maybe that's, you're literally in the room. Like, uh, in fact, I'm going to Tennessee on Thursday, today's, well, uh, yeah, I'm go today's Tuesday, but you may not be watching this on a Tuesday. But uh, in two days, I'm going down to Tennessee for five days at, for a real estate mastermind, and I'm literally just getting in the room. 
with a bunch of multimillionaire people who do what I want to do and who are vi like crazy successful at it. And it's just coming together and it's a five day event. It's real small, kind of real, um, I don't want to say intimate, but it's, uh, yeah, I guess intimate. It's a more small, intimate type gathering. Um, and uh, my, the whole reason I'm going is I just want to get in the room with other people who are ahead of me in the journey, and I just want to learn from them. I want to hear about their deals. I want to hear about what they're doing. I want to have little light bulbs go off like, oh, yeah, that's really cool. I didn't think about that. And I want to, I want to be encouraged. I want to walk away from, you know, charged up. This is actually the third one that I've gone to this year. And each time so far, I've come back home like charged up. I'm ready to go. Let's do some deals. And it all has been because I've joined some communities. So this could be a paid for community. It can be an online community. It could be a free community, like a Facebook group type of thing. It can be, uh, you know, events, conferences. You're you're meeting new people, etc. But I cannot understate, overstate? I can't overstate <laughs> the importance of joining a community, particularly if you are a beginner and you are just getting started. It's just vitally important that you don't feel like you're alone, that you get to learn very quickly from other people, that you have other people get to give you advice on things that you may be doing wrong, and for you to feel like you're part of the pack, like you're part of the herd, like we are together in this tiny little niche thing that we're all interested in, all trying to make money in this little aspect of real estate. Uh, joining a community, if you want to get started fast into real estate, it's one of the best things you can do, whether free or paid, local or virtual. Join a community of other like-minded people who are already doing what it is you want to do or who are right there neck and neck with you in the same race, in the same journey. That's number three. The next one is very practical, uh, but it makes sense. Number four, if you want to get started in real estate, partner on a deal. Partner on a deal partner on a deal. So every time there's a deal, whether it's a wholesale deal or you're trying to take down another rental property or you're trying to flip a property, anytime you get involved in real estate, there's always like 50 million people that are needed to pull off the one transaction. Like if you've ever gone through a transaction, it's true. You got the sellers, you usually you know, you might have a real estate agent, there's the title company, there's the lawyer who there's the transaction coordinator who drafts up all the paperwork, there's the bank, there's the funding, there's the private money people, there's the hard money people like that you know, there's the uh, contractor who's going to come and do the work or do the repairs, there's the the secretary who's needed to like, you know, answer all the questions, like it, there's the government permitting in order to get some of the work done that you need in order to turn this, you know, flip the property or turn it into a rental or whatever. Like, there's just a lot of people that are needed. Uh, you know, it's like they say at any time you do a real estate transaction, all the hands come out. Like, everybody wants to get paid, right? The lawyer, the title company, the agent, everybody wants to get paid, including you, right? That's the whole reason why you're doing it. And so, one of the best things you can do to get started really quickly, instead of just trying to push the boulder up the hill all by yourself, is to partner on a deal. This kind of goes back to number two, like working with somebody who's already doing what it is that you want to do. But partner on a deal. Like what what can you bring to the table? How can you help partner? If you are a wholesaler, essentially you are partnering on the deal for a fix and flipper or somebody who wants to keep the property as a rental. You found the deal, you negotiated the deal, you locked up the deal, right, on in a contract, and then you assign that contract to somebody else, and then they take it and run from there. But in a way, it's kind of like a partnership because you did a lot of heavy lifting up front that they didn't have to do, right? But at the same time, you, as typically in a wholesale uh, transaction, if that's your intent, you don't have the funding or the cash or the money to actually buy the house in many cases. You need them to come in and buy the house in order for you to make money. So it's a good partnership. It's, you know, it, it's, we're all partnering together. So what can you do? That's the question. What, how can you help somebody who's already doing it? How can you partner on the deal? Maybe the marketing, like getting your phone ringing, check out the REI Jumpstart. Right. Let me bring that back up again. REIjumpstart.com or click the link below. That's a great way to get started with the marketing, which is just simply to get your phone ringing, get your inbox blowing up and get those leads coming in leads that somebody else may want. Right. So that's a way that you can partner on the deal is you got the lead like you got you got the person right there. You can be the person who goes. Maybe you do lock up the property. You negotiate it. You get it and you can wholesale it or you say, hey, I want to keep this as a rental. Will you bring in the money? Maybe you are the person with the money. 
Maybe you got a little savings, you got a 401k, something like that, an IRA, and you got some money. Maybe you don't have a lot of time. And right now in your journey, you don't have a lot of real estate experience, but you got some cash that you can lend or that you can partner on a deal. So one of the best, fastest ways to get into real estate is to partner with somebody else, like come together. Like let's say you you want to do the marketing, they can source the funding and another person does the the construction, they do the, the contracting, they can do the work, right? So you all come together, you partner together and you do a deal and you all three make money together on a deal that you otherwise would not have been able to do had you not had each other to help partner on the deal. So partnering on a deal, and being able to provide some level of value or service to somebody else is a great way to get started. Just kind of e either figure out what part of the whole spectrum you're really good at or get good at something on the whole spectrum. Maybe you're a handyman, you're really good at the handy stuff, you know, say, hey, I'm willing to uh, do the work on this flip if you're willing to uh, find me a flip, right? Find me a flip and I'll, and I'll do it. Or, hey, I got the cash. Uh, if you put the whole thing together, I can fund it. Or, hey, I got a deal. I got a deal right here. Even if you just have a lead, sometimes it's called bird dogging. Like You're like, I, I just have a lead. I haven't got an appointment. I haven't gotten it under contract, but I have a motivated seller who's ready to sell their house. And so you can get a finder's fee for that. Like, How can you partner on a deal? If you can't do the whole thing start to finish by yourself because that's too overwhelming or you're not well-resourced enough yet, like I have not been well-resourced enough yet, I've needed partners on everything that I've been doing, uh, that's a great way to get started very, very quickly is offer to partner on the deal. Okay, number five. This is the one that I told you about at the very beginning of the video, which is if you don't do this, then you really can't be successful in real estate. Or if you can't, um, if you don't know how to do this, then it's gonna be really hard for you to consistently get deals and be successful in this. This is advice that was given to me from the very beginning, which is if you're only gonna do really one thing to get started in real estate, to try to start making money in real estate, yes, invest in yourself, yes, join a community, yes, work with somebody who's already doing what you're doing, yes, partner on a deal, but, by far, the most important thing you can start doing today is marketing, marketing, marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. You have to get good at the marketing. You have to get really solid at the marketing. You have to be able to market, market, market. You have to get good at marketing, 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 marketing. You have to get good at the marketing. So when I first joined a uh, community, I'm a part of like three different communities. Um, and uh, some are paid, some are not. And uh, one of them, I was, uh, you know, this was a little over, I think a little over a year ago at this point, uh, I really knew nothing. I didn't know what a deed was. I didn't know what a title company was. I didn't know what anything was. But I joined a community and I started learning really quickly right away. And everybody else in the entire group, this was a virtual online group. It's a Zoom call we have every Thursday night with this particular community that I'm a part of. Um, and I'm I'm like the least successful person there, uh, like, like still. But I am still the least successful person in the entire group, but especially a year ago when I literally didn't know anything. So it felt a little awkward because everybody else, they're doing deals left and right. They're all making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some in there are multimillionaires. Uh, it's a smaller group. It's, it's maybe 15, 20 people. We all meet up on Zoom every Thursday night. And, um, and so I was a bit hesitant to even ask, but you know, I'm just like, like, where do I even start? Like they're, they're solving like very high level problems. They're throwing out certain things like, yeah, if the county didn't record this and there's a title, blah, 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 like super, super high level stuff that like they're, they're talking through and, and helping each other out with. And I'm over here like, so like, how do I do real estate? Like, how do I, <laughs> like, what do I do? And uh, the number one reason, I was finally brave enough to ask. And I said like, so what do I, what should I do? Like, how do I even get started in this whole thing? And the number one resounding feedback I got from everybody, so the, the, the guy or the gal who was doing one deal a year and the multimillionaire who was doing, you know, 10, 12, 20 deals a month that was in the, that are all in this group. The number one thing they all said is marketing, marketing, marketing. You have to get your phone ringing. 
You have to get your inbox blowing up. You have to get pe- to, to talking to people. You have to get people on the phone who want to sell their house. Like you, you have to get really good at the marketing. Now, good news for you, this is the last time I mentioned it, by the way, I do have the REI Jumpstart that you can do seven free th- free things that don't cost you any money to, get, to do the marketing if they get that going. That's how I got started. That's how I got started making money. That's why I've been able to make tens of thousands of dollars now as just kind of this side thing that I do on on top of my day job was because of the marketing. Because I just said, okay, well, let me just start marketing. And guess what? My phone started ringing. My text message inbox started blowing up. And I started going on appointments. And I went on appointment after appointment after appointment after appointment. And before you knew it, I was getting getting properties under contract, did my very first deal, netted $32,000. And literally now my phone, I, this is like a side note, I've taken like a little like uh, sabbatical for the past few weeks just to be at home with the family more and kind of enjoy the summer. Um, it was really kind of God oriented. God kind of led us to do it. But I literally get calls like every other day now from marketing that I did a long time ago. Like people are still calling my phone, interested in selling their house, trying to get a hold of me to see if I want to come by their house for marketing I did a long time ago. Like it's it's the marketing. It's the engine that runs everything. You have to get really good at the marketing. So. Um, get really good at the marketing. Invest in yourself. If you're if you're a brand new beginner real estate investor, invest in yourself. See if there's opportunity to work with somebody who's already doing what you want to, to do. Join a community of people. It doesn't have to be paid for. There are lots of free communities out there. Facebook, check out Facebook. There's a bunch of different uh, really awesome free communities. A lot of your local real estate meetups in your area are going to be free. You just show up, like buy a coffee and hang out. Uh, Consider partnering on a deal. Figure out what valuable skill or asset you bring to the table so that you can partner. And the most important thing, you got to just start marketing. Whether it's driving for dollars, whether it's cold calling agents, whether it's pulling lists, whether it's sending out direct mail, whether it's posting on social media, whether it's whatever it is that you do, uh, you got to just get your phone ringing because nothing happens. Nothing happens until your phone starts ringing or your inbox starts blowing up with leads, with motivated sellers. I hope that this has been helpful to you. If you want to know about creative finance, here are five key terms you need to know about creative finance if you want to buy a property without your credit, without going to a bank, etc. cetera. Uh, that's how I'm doing all my deals, which is pretty sweet. And if you want to know about one of the biggest struggles I've had as a beginner real estate investor and how to avoid those mistakes, click or tap this video here. My name is Jason Baca. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.